So we've got about a 12 inch piece of hardwood here guys, I'll just show you how this cuts. <laughs> Video out. How's it going today, fellas? So, today I'm gonna give you my two cents worth on filing a chainsaw. Um, I want to start by saying I run a husky saw, but I use steel chains because steel chains are made of harder steel. I mostly cut hardwood, so I find the chains last longer, stay sharper longer, and pretty much unless you hit something, you won't dull a steel chain. They don't really get dull just from cutting good wood, where cheaper chains will. So, to start, I want to point out and say that I use a smaller file than most people. I thought for sure the camera would pick it up here, but maybe it won't. What I have is a Husqvarna intensive cut 4 millimeter. So this is a slightly smaller file. And the reason I do that is because as your tooth gets wore out, instead of trying to keep pushing down the smaller file will stay underneath the tooth better. It's really hard to show the camera angle to get it here, but... Um, so essentially, you see what I'm getting at there with the... It's not up over top of the tooth. The smaller file will stay underneath it better. So you don't have to use as much down pressure with the four millimeter. Um, the other thing is, is when do you know it's time to sharpen your chain? Well, you'll know if you use a saw in your mount when it's time to sharpen it. But uh, generally you can just do a quick visual inspection. And as you'll see, I've got one there that's rounded a little on the tip. A lot of them are still pretty good, so this is just going to be a quick rub. This isn't a, a chain beat off a rock or a piece of metal situation which, as you guys know that have been there and dealt with that, it can take a lot to bring a chain back in that situation. Not sure why I'm getting such a bad glare off my camera, but I've got quite a few teeth here that just need to be touched up. So, always a good practice to wear gloves. Always a good practice. Um, I recommend the smaller file, a half-decent file handle, something that's comfortable in your hand. A lot of times in the woods I just nip a piece of hardwood off and you'll probably need a flat file with a smaller saw. Don't get carried away with the flat filing too much. When it comes to these bigger saws, there's really no limit in what you can take. It's just a matter of how jumpy do you want the thing in your hand. So what I normally do, just for a test, is lay your flat file across two teeth and you'll see there's a tiny tiny little bit of gap in between my file and the drag on a small saw you only want like a hair just a little bit enough to say you do on a bigger saw sometimes I'll take this thing down like a mil and a half two mils so but the more you take off of this drag the jumpier this thing is going to become in your hand so now I use my own technique for filing because I can file left and right handed so when I do the right side I file this way shoulder up over the body of it I gotta say, these Husky Intense Cut Files are great. They, uh, they make a real clean cut and they file fairly quickly compared to normal files. 
you actually, uh, when it comes to that final, when the metal rolls off your tooth and you get that fine edge, you almost got to back off the pressure. These are such a good file. And depending on the state of the tooth, you know, some guys are like, oh, I give it three or four rubs. Well, unless the chain's like brand new, three or four rubs probably isn't going to do sweet at all. But sometimes you get lucky and some need less than others. Usually when the tip of the tooth is rounded, it takes anywhere from, you know, probably 10 or 15 rubs. Another trick I like to do, how to really tell if you got a good edge on there, is one, after you filed, you can get underneath here and look up on the tip of your tooth and you shouldn't see any black out on the very tip. So when you look at your tooth from underneath on that very tip, you shouldn't have any black there. It should be all clean steel from filing. And another trick, is I always just hook the tip of the tooth with my thumb and if it grabs my thumb that you know it's tearing skin off to get your thumb back you know you got her sharp and again the smaller file this four millimeter file on a 3-8 chain is what helps you achieve that nice fine edge so now we're gonna start getting some rain I see Let's go figure trying to do something outside um, so yeah, I won't bore you this whole video of me filing. When I do the left side, where I can use both my hands pretty much the same, I just switch it up and file from this side. And pretty much the back of the truck is perfect height, so why sit on the ground and do it? What I don't recommend is don't go out and spend big money on these, you know, setups that supposedly help you file the saw better. Um, it will take a while, but if you learn how to do this freehand, you'll be much better at it. And you'll appreciate it a lot more too, because you're not wasting money on fancy tools to uh, do a simple job. So after I get this done, I'll probably go along with the flat file and I'll do three to five rubs. And again, this is a bigger saw. I'm going to be junking firewood. I'm not using it to cut smaller stuff. Um, even if you're using a big saw, if you're going to be cutting smaller stuff, I don't recommend taking a lot off the drags because again, it'll make it jumpier, more dangerous, more liable to... Uh, play out or come out of your hands, whichever it may be. But of all my years filing saws, I've even had people argue with me behind the counter when they're selling me stuff. I buy a new chain and I buy a box of new files and I ask for four millimeter and they say, oh, that's the wrong size file, blah, blah, blah. And I just say, well, um, the other year I cut 300 cord of hardwood the year before I cut 200 cord of hardwood for firewood Plus I do logging in the woods uh, I'm the one filing the saw I'll buy what I want and what works the best. Thank you very much Meanwhile the guy behind the counter arguing with you and telling you this information probably has never used a saw in his life so Doesn't matter who you are filing a saw takes time uh, to do it perfect, you're probably talking a 20 minute procedure, you know, maybe 25, maybe 15 if you're real good. So, nothing worse than a saw that doesn't cut, so you might as well just take the time and do it right. And another thing, when you've got to file the saw yourself and nobody does it for you, when you're running it in the woods, cutting around rocks and stuff, you're going to be a lot more careful. So, thanks for watching. Enjoy.
So, when we're all done, the thumb's usually got some picks into it. As you can see, we've got, uh, well, I don't know if you can see or not actually, but we've got uh, some air there between our drags. So, no question, this thing's going to cut now. And that's just the way I do it. I'm not telling anyone what to do, but I'll tell you. At least try this four millimeter file on a 3.8 chain. I think you'll really enjoy it. It makes life much easier.